This is page 5 of the memory allocation notes, and we're on to section 2, which is static memory allocation, or just static allocation. And uh, the name static implies that it is done at compile time. So when you're creating the system, and the benefits to this are that it is deterministic and it won't fail at runtime. Now it could fail at compile time, for example, if the amount of objects you're trying to create statically exceed the available memory in your system. It is required for safety critical systems and safety critical should have a dash in there so for example for avionics airplanes and jets we have the ARINC ARINC 6 53 standard and for automotives we have the OSER standard that require um, static allocation or at least that all allocation is performed um, <coughs> at startup so we can do static allocation in SimSys RTOS 2 and uh, every uh, operating system object has a control block so mutexes, semaphores, threads, event flags, all of them they have control blocks so um, control blocks can be statically allocated and they must be 4 byte aligned or word aligned and thread stacks can be statically allocated and the stacks must be 8 byte aligned and that's just a requirement of the ARM processor something to do with the way that it handles exceptions require that threads be 8 byte aligned so we're going to look at an exam a code example on the next page